Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect an Xbox Series controller to a Google TV device. Now, if you want to see the written version of the instructions, you can find a link to my website in the video description. Now, one thing to keep in mind about the Google TV device connection is that Google TV is an operating system type of platform. So it depends if this will be compatible with the hardware itself or not, because not all of the Google TV devices are made by Google. So that's one very big dependency you have to be aware about. Also, whether the controller will be compatible with the app you're going to use or game or whatever it is on your media streamer device, you know, did the app developer make it compatible with the Xbox series controller? In addition to that, even if it does work with the app, you have to consider that will the button mapping be correct? So just uh, something to be very cautious and mindful about. So with that said, let's continue on with how to get this set up. So first what I'm going to do is get the controller into pairing mode, which is super easy. You're going to press and hold the Xbox button on the controller to power it on. And when you power on the controller, if your console turns on like it does for me, that's okay, just walk over to your console and press and hold the Xbox button for a few seconds. The power light will kind of fade a couple times and eventually the console will turn off completely. Then when you continue on with the controller itself, you wanna press and hold the sync button on the top of the controller for a few seconds until the Xbox logo button on the controller flashes. When it's flashing, that's when you know it's in pairing mode. Now jumping over to your Google TV device, you wanna switch over to the top right corner where there's like a cog icon this is the main system settings menu. And then from here, you want to open Bluetooth. And then from here, you want to select pair, remote, or accessory. Eventually, it should show up your Xbox controller. Now, these settings I just went through really quickly may change with various Android updates or Google TV updates, rather. Uh, so just be mindful. The steps will always be relatively the same. So as the controller appears, you'll hit pairing, and then eventually it'll just connect. Now, for me, it took a couple of tries to get this done. I had to go back to the main screen and then back into the system settings menu to make this work. So if it fails for you, just do the same thing. Go back and then try again. And right now I'm navigating everything with the Xbox Series controller. I'm using A to select, B to go back, and I'm using the joystick to navigate. So it's working just fine thus far. And that's pretty much a wrap. It's easy, right? Now, if you want to get your controller paired back to your console, it's even easier than anything else. All you need to do is make sure that the console is turned on and your controller is turned on and double tap the sync button on the top of the controller and automatically pair back to your console and that's it. Super cool, right? So that's a wrap. So if you hope you found this video useful, if you did, check out my social links and website link in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.